Man, even the primer looks nice. Look at that. Look at the way the primer laid down on that. Just blocked out like glass. Gosh, I just can't believe this. Look at it. Look at that hood. Look at that. I mean, it's it sanded down. It 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 flowed out perfect. Didn't get any orange peel. Look at the inside of this hood. It's like a lake. It's like we can go swimming in that. Black pool of paint. Beautiful paint. Clear coat, base coat, primer, epoxy primer. I mean, what else can you ask for? It's, it's oh my gosh, look, here's epoxy primer right here. That's epoxy primer. We got the we got the 2K primer here. And then underneath that, look, what's this right here? Oh my gosh. That's polyester primer. Wow. So much painting. So much labor involved in spray painting. All the layers it takes to make a beautiful paint job the way it is. But you know what's really the biggest scam, the biggest joke, the biggest ridiculous, outrageous, bullshit, corporational, scam, nation, vibration of the world is, do you want me to tell you? Owning 29 spray guns to do one fucking job. The biggest and most outrageous conspiracy theory to automotive painting. Are you ready for this? This is the question. What kind of spray gun do I need to spray base coat paint with? What kind of spray gun do I need to paint primer with? What kind of spray gun do I need to paint clear coat with? What kind of spray gun should I use for uh, polyester primer and super high build spray on Bondo? How many spray guns do I need to own to do one, one fucking, <laughs> fucking job? So when YouTube came out, okay, when YouTube came out, everybody and anybody wanted to get YouTube channels. Kind of like my friend Pete. And the best way to make a YouTube channel and try to get popular is to do something that you do well. And all of a sudden, everybody and everybody is a, a, a do-it-yourself do teacher. Because that's what YouTube's all about. YouTube is about watching somebody like me and teaching you how to do something when you want to learn how to do something quick. So all of a sudden, there's millions and millions of YouTube channels of do-it-yourself paint, do-it-yourself bodywork, do-it-yourself bondo, how to, how to sweep your floor, how to throw a box away, how to fold a box, how to pack something up. And one more thing we forgot, what kind of spray gun do I fucking need? Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. If you look in this little jargon of a mess right here, first of all, before I tell you about this, I've been doing this shit all my life, ever since I was about 12 years old. Okay, the first spray gun that I ever bought, right here, I was 15 years old when I bought that spray gun. And I'm going to tell you right now, the spray gun that you are looking at right there that I bought when I was 15 that cost me $95 with cup. $95. This is a Binks number no. 7, model number no. 7 spray gun. I have sprayed 85% of all 
paint jobs, including collision jobs, fenders, primer jobs, uh, uh, custom paint jobs, inside and out paint jobs, underneath the fucking car, acrylic enamel, base coat, waterborne primers, waterborne paints, um, uh, let's see what else, Duracryl lacquers, Delstar enamels, um, Emeron, Deltron, base coat, urethane, um, let's see, even house paint, this gum that you're looking at, I painted my firstborn son's crib with using house paint. One fucking gun right here. Base coat. Clear coat. Let's see. I've used lacquer clears. I've used urethane clears. I've used polyester clears. I've used every type of clear that you can fucking name inside this gun. Paint. Okay, I went over that. One fucking gun. That's it. One gun right there. Um, I just mixed up some 2K primer, and look what I'm using. I'm using this spray gun to put my 2K primer on. Uh, two nights ago, look right here. What color is that? See that black? What color is the car I just showed you? It's black. It's black. Look at how shiny it is. It's clear coat, base coat, clear coat. It's black. I use this spray gun for that. I get on a couple sites on Facebook. There's a couple of these automotive paint body sites on P Facebook. And a lot of the questions are from beginners, um, people that want to do it at home in their garage. And I, I praise those people. I'm glad that you're out there learning how to do it. And you're awesome. Okay, you're awesome. The first questions they ask, they get all excited. What gun should I buy for clear coat? What's the best gun that I should buy for my paint? What's the best primer gun? Did you know that HVLP spray guns are all basically the same. They're all the same. The only difference is the name. They all do the same thing. They all got the same internal works that the other gun had. And they all do the same thing. And you can change the nozzles and the tips and the uh, uh, needles and everything else out to be compatible to what you want to do. And you can only use that one gun for everything. Believe it or not. Now, this is the gun that I use 85% of the time for everything. Now, I got primer in here, so I got to hurry up. But I'm going to go over a couple spray guns with you. Guns that you should have, and one of them is your favorite gun. That is an overall, do everything, throw it in the can, spray the motherfucker, and be down the road gun. That's it, right there. Now, you're looking at that gun and saying, that's an antique. I can't spray with that gun. Well, that's fine. That's fine. You can't spray with that gun. Get yourself a gun that you can spray with, and you can use anything you want in. I'm going to show you a couple guns here. All right, we're going to put number one out of the way. This is a gun that you should have with you all the time. Now, this gun looks dirty because I use my spray guns. This gun is 100% flawlessly clean on the inside. Okay? L flawlessly do you see that? Look. Do you see that coming out? Okay. So, the cup might be dirty. I just haven't had time to tear this down, put it in the gun cleaner, and clean all that. Because I'm a one-man operation. But this is something that you should have in your shop. This is a touch-up gun. 
This is a SATA touch-up gun. I purchased this gun 35 years ago. Brand new. And it was 280 bucks back then. I don't know how much this is, but I know to replace that cup is $75. But this gun is something you should have in your arsenal at all times. Another gun that you should have, if you do a lot of restoration, and you're going to use polyester primers, or high build, super build type primer, such as spray on Bondos, is a gun like this. This is basically a miniature presser pot with a 8 or 10, okay, number 10 nozzle. That means that this stuff comes out like a water faucet. This gun is specifically made for very super high build, thick paints, primers. This gun cost $18 at Harbor Freight, and after I use it four or five times, it will go bam in the trash, and I will buy another one. So if I'm spraying polyester primers such as Feather Fill, or Evercoat Super Build, or uh, u uh what's that called? u Reface. Reface is a spray on Bondo, um, whereas Super Build is just a high build primer. This is my go-to gun right here. This is it. Okay? That's all I spray with this. So we went over two guns that are important to have in your shop. Actually, we went over three guns. You should always have your number one gun, your overall, I can do anything with this gun. Now, I can't spray a high build primer out of this. I'm telling you, I can't spray polyester or uh, super build primer out of this gun. But I can spray 2K primer, any primer, any primer that's 2K, all right, I can spray with this gun. I can spray my epoxy primers with this gun. I can spray my base coat urethane paints or lacquers or acrylic enamel paints with this gun right here. I can also spray all the clears that I want to paint, okay? All the clears that I want to spray, including high build, uh, high solids, medium solids, low solids, it doesn't matter what clears they are, um, flat clears, high gloss clears, uh, semi-gloss clears, whatever clears I want, I can spray with this gun right here. This is a universal spray gun. And before they came out with all these designer spray guns, and I got a couple I'm going to show you. Before they came out with all that bullshit, this was the only type of gun you can use. Professional auto body painters only had one or two guns. That's it. And this was one of them. Okay? They had other brands, DeVilbus. They had Sharp. But the Binks number 7 was the number one to-go gun you can still buy these brand new, believe it or not. Now that we know about our number one gun, and of course, our touch-up gun, very important, and of course, our throwaway bullshit primer gun, we're going to go ahead and get into some other spray guns that I own that I can spray anything out of. Okay, I can do that. I can do that if I want. This is a 5000B. No, I'm sorry, this is a 5,000, maybe it's an RP. Let's see, what is this? This is a, yeah, 5,000 BRP, 1.4. This is a 1.4 nozzle. That's a big nozzle. This is the trick. This gun is designed, it's an HVLP gun, but it's designed to be just like that gun. What we got here, guys, this gun is a Y2K compatible spray gun of this gun right here, okay? The RP stands for this.
is a masterpiece um, duplicate of a siphon gun, but it's a gravity feed. Now, when I get into an exotic paint job that has super high pearl in it or metal flake, all right, I can do that with this gun because I have used this gun for many, many years. But when you get into paints that are very, very expensive, like let's say uh, Mazda uh, Tri-Stage Candy Apple Red, all right, that's probably $2,800 a gallon. So when you're painting an inside and out overall, let's say uh, 1968 Mustang, you're going to need at least a gallon and a half, so you might as well buy two gallons of this fucking shit. That's a lot of paint and a lot of fucking money. You don't want to be wasting it. So I'm going to go to this gun here because this gun is putting out just a little bit more overspray than this gun, but this gun is laying it on just like this. All right? We're going to open this gun. Follow me here, please. I don't use this gun a lot. You're going to see that. You can see this gun is just like brand new. Look at this. I keep this gun spotlessly clean. But this is the trick. If I was to use this gun all the fucking time, I would use this gun for base coat paint, clear coat paint, acrylic enamel, lacquer, whatever the hell I was going to spray, I would use this gun right here. It would not just be used for base coat only. I'm trying to tell you people, you do not need 27 fucking spray guns in a, a spray gun army. It's stupid. It's totally ignorant to, to watch these YouTube videos of these spray gun guys that are telling you, I'm testing this gun out, look at it. And then they show you their rack and they got like 700 fucking spray guns here. Like this one is used for uh, my epoxy primer. I use this one for... Um, DuPont base coat. I use this one for PPG base coat. Oh, did you just mention House of Color? That's this gun right here. Okay, bullshit. You get yourself a fucking gun and I, okay, we just saw this one. All right, we just saw this one. Now this one here, I'm going to show you. This is a Nova, a Supernova. This one here is made by uh, Iwata. Okay, I bought this one for a backup unit to this one, and I said, you know what? I'm going to try this thing out. So this one here is our Supernova. And I use this for clear coat. But I don't have to. I can use it for whatever the fuck I want. It is a spray gun. Okay? But I got this set up for clear. And I believe this is a 1.3 nozzle. I don't know. Maybe it's a 1.5. Those are 400-05. Um, but anyway, whatever size fucking nozzle it is. I mean, look here, guys. Okay, here's what you do when you want a gun. These guns are expensive. This is fucking $800. $800 fucking dollars. All right, here's the little adapter for the, the PPP, PPE cups, the PPD or whatever the fuck they call. You know, here, here you go. Here's a, a nozzle set. Here's a needle and a nozzle right there. That's the other one that goes to this gun. So if I'm, paint, if I'm painting something different and I need an, oh, uh, let's say I need a uh, 1.2 instead of a 1.5, I just change out my fucking nozzles. Why buy a million fucking spray guns to do one job with one gun? It's stupid, okay? And, you know, you got guys that are sitting there saying, well, I'm not going to spray primer in my base coat gun. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to, you're crazy. I'm not doing that. All right? I'm not going to spray, I'm not going to spray um, black paint after I just got done spraying white prime. Well, fuck no, you're not. You're going to take your gun apart. You're going to stand there and you're going to clean it just like you would one of these motherfuckers. 
Okay, you're going to do that. But what I'm trying to tell you, if you are a beginner, or you're at home doing this, or possibly you're doing this for your job, you do not need 7,000 fucking spray guns. It is stupid, it's ignorant, it's selfish, and it's, it's, it's totally insane that says you're a vain person and you're just thinking of yourself because you want to spend all this fucking money and throw it in the trash to buy spray guns. These guns right here, I've had this gun for approximately four years, and I've had this one for two years. I've used this one probably three times, all right? And I've used this one probably five times. If I didn't have this gun here, and I told myself, my friend Pete, I don't want to use that gun anymore. I, I want to go to HVLP. I want to go to the, the throwaway cup system. I want to, you know, do this. Then this is the gun I would buy right here. The SATA 5000 RP. Is that an RP? Did I say that? Yeah, the 5000B RP. This is the go-to gun that I would buy. This is an all-around universal spray gun. You can spray anything you want out of this thing. And it's basically a copycat of this gun right here. Except this is designed to be an HVLP instead of a siphon. Alright, this gun here shoots identical to this Binks number 7. Now, I'm running a 1.4 in this, and I spray paint with it. I only do very high-end jobs. I can do that with this gun. I can do that. I have done that. I've been in business. I've been doing this shit since I was 12 or 13. Okay, I got, special, I got a special agitator cup that goes on this. What you're about to look at, you will probably never, ever, ever, ever see anything like this in your life. I'm probably the only one in existence that's got this. This is called an Agit Cup. One quart. It's made by Binks. Specifically made. You got it right there. This is probably the only one of these you're going to ever see in your life. This is called an Agitator Cup. You got a little air valve right here. Do you see that? That hooks up. You got it to the bottom of your gun. All right? And then watch what we got inside this thing. You're not going to believe this. Look at that. It's a pneumatic agitator that keeps the paint. And I want to show, look how clean this is. And it keeps the paint mixed all the time. So... Once again, I'm going to tell you this, and I want you to believe what I tell you because I don't fucking lie. All right? The gun that I go to 85% of the time is this right here. This is it. Okay? The only time I will use this gun here or that one, which I don't use at all hardly, is if I'm doing a very high-end paint job with very high-end paint. So, I'm just going to let you know, and then we're going to call this quits. Okay, what we got here, guys, all right, we got a, a conspiracy theory that is making these spray gun companies billions and trillions of dollars because you are watching these YouTube videos, and you're getting on these forums, and you're asking all these questions, and all these people are telling you, I use this gun for that, and I use this one for this, and if you're going to spray that, you need this gun, and your, your, your fucking mind's telling you, I need to go buy five or six spray guns. It's bullshit. One fucking spray gun is all you need. Keep it clean. Clean the son of a bitch when you're done with it. All right? Um, if you're going to spray... Uh, high-end primer, if you're going to spray primer, take the tip off, take the nozzle off, buy the, the needle in the nozzle at 1.8. As long as your spray gun is clean, okay, as long as you keep it clean internally, all right, it will fucking spray anything. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, telling you that this right here is one of the most biggest 
mythological bullshit stories you will ever, ever encounter in the automotive paint body industry right there. I'm sorry to say that, but you have been fucked, okay? They bent you over and did you a number two. You don't need fucking 20 guns, all right? You don't fucking need them, people, okay? Buy yourself one fucking spray gun, spray everything you want out of it, and go down the fucking road, okay? I'm dead serious here, all right? I'm, I, I, this ain't bullshit. This is, this is actual, authentic, 100% truthful talking to you, you know? The only gun that I would suggest to buy other than your number one gun is one of these due to the fact that you might have to spray super build primer or polyester primer and throw the fucking thing away when you're done. You know, have a touch up gun around and you know, for little small jobs or painting little pieces. But other than that, as far as your main spray gun goes, you don't need, you don't need a hundred thousand guns. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. I'm hitting the road. I got primer to spray. And uh, I got to go. I got to go.